Target's balls are dressed up, but they don't have anything in stock in the store. I went through to get this, but I found it. Good morning, it's Susan and welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're new. Today we are going to do a really big haul. And sometimes I get a little bit embarrassed doing hauls because it looks like I'm bragging or I'm showing off. And 
as a friend of mine used to say, you have more money than brains. So I am going to split this haul up into a few parts because I think there's too much of it. And I think I've been naughty, but I've been nice too. I am going to start off with Target. Target. Do you know what? I know that this pillow is in the way here, so maybe I'll start off with Hobby Lobby because the elephant in the room, Pottery Barn Dupe, Snowflake Pillow, Hobby Lobby. Uh, regularly $23.99. I got it half. So I'm not going to tell you everything was 50% off because you already know that. So I'll give you the, the retail price. So this is $23.99. And I never did see the one at Pottery Barn. I just saw pictures of it. It could be bigger, but it looks just the same. I needed some more uh, faux trees for my Christmas decor. So I grabbed them while I was there and I got this one. I like the, the uh, feel of this one. It's not too plasticky. It looks, it looks good. And it's a bit frosted. It's got a bit of sparkles in it. And I did a lot of these in my kitchen last year. So I am going to use this. And I bought a few of them and I'm going to place them in the kitchen here in the corner to fill up the gaps. And I never did tell you how much it was. This one is $6.99. And the larger one was $14.99. This is why I make the trip to the United States because I can't find these beautiful looking items here in Canada, certain things. We have a lot of nice things too. Actually, I have a Walmart and a home good uh, haul for you in another part. And I got a lot of beautiful things, but it's like things like this, like we have Michaels, but they're really expensive. I showed you. Um, oh, by the way, I'm not gonna put my finger up. I almost did that, but see, I lost it in Hobby Lobby, but I have it and I'm going to glue it back on. <laughs> I just put them on too and I grabbed for some uh, rolls of uh, Christmas paper and I go, what, what's that in the plastic? And I looked down, it was my nail. It's not the first time I've lost a nail. I lose nails in the darndest places. So what I thought, okay, now you've seen this ball here. Okay. I went back to get another one and there was none but to my surprise I almost had a nervous breakdown because it is really just a Christmas ball but us women get excited I had found one little box of four velvet or flocked balls in the darker taupe color this one was $10.99 and that was it I guess somebody had found it behind behind all the other Christmas decor and just threw it there. And I was the lucky one to find it. Okay, so next, you're gonna laugh. I bought a bunch of these. And what I do is I take off this and then I either paint it, distress it, and I found a, uh, I found a new way of making them look vintage. There's two ways. There's one that where you use hydrogen, hydrogen peroxide, mixed with vinegar and salt, but I tried it. It did not take the paint off. So I'm not sanding all this. So I tried a new method, which is the one with where you paint it dark. Um, you add some Mod Podge, Mod Podge, and then you cover it with cinnamon. And I tried a few and they turned out terrific. Look at this. I got these at the Dollar Tree and I wanted to get some Aged, and I know that Hobby Lobby does have two in a box that are very similar to this, a little bit more orange, but they have a bunch of twine around them and decor. And I looked at them and I thought, if I rip that off, it's going to ruin the whole effect. So I'm just going to make them myself and it's cheaper because I have a lot of these bells, but I didn't have any of these this size. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to do the same technique. I might, I might do this technique or I might do the rub and buff. I'm not sure yet. And I'm going to place them on my big um, dough bowl in the, on the kitchen table. So I think that'll look great. And these ones were uh, $5.99 for these beautiful antique looking cowbells. 
I do have a few of them from last year, but they're not the same. I think I found one similar to this in Homestead. I didn't find any more. So when I saw these at uh, Hobby Lobby, I almost had a, another nervous breakdown. And the price was only $7.99 for the small and uh, $15.99 for the big. Well, I'm not sure where I'm going to put them yet. I might just put them on table on tables over on top of books. I'm not sure yet. I'm not even there yet. I haven't even taken down my fall Halloween decor. First, I have to tackle the outside thing. Is and I was looking for some kind of a big gold ball so I could put them in another dough bowl in the living room. And I found this silver mercury. It's not really mercury glass. Kind of looks like it. I'm going to rub and buff this with antique gold since I couldn't find any gold ones. And these ones were $9.99. Yeah. See, this is what happens when you change your color scheme for Christmas. You're all excited at the beginning. And then you get anxiety, thinking, was it the right decision? Because I do really like white and red. But I'm going to put the white and red in my bedroom. So I won't feel guilty. And I think the way I'm going to create my living room, the style of it this year was, is going to look a bit more elegant. I did get a gift for somebody. Um, I can't find it. I think it's, it's one of those light up snow globes for my mother. And then I found this cute little thing where the ornaments are. Look at it. She loves owls. And I know this ring light is, is just being naughty here. It's a little owl in a forest of white trees and it lights up. Oh, and it, you know, it's the, the typical snow globe and it was only uh, $10.99. So 50% off. Okay, a few more things. I needed some white taper candles. I'll tell you why soon. And these candles were $7.99 and I got 12 of them for my Christmas tree upstairs because I don't like to put a lot of decor on it. And um, I found these cute little stars. It's sort of like corrugated paper with some glitter on it. And I got six of those and they were $4.99. Then I found these mushrooms and they were, how much were they? Oh, they were, they were only $3.99. Oh, that's a good price. $3.99, imagine. Oops, $3.99 for this cute little mushroom a wood base and a felt cap, popular jingle bells on a, I guess they're for Christmas trees. I guess you can place them in arrangements. And last year I could never find them. So this year I grabbed them. There was only three left and they're $5.99. Wait till you see the jingle bell that I bought. Next video. Okay, so I've been looking for this for years. Well, I shouldn't say looking for it. I, I do see it sometimes. And then I get cheap and I think, oh, I don't need it. It's usually in the summer that I see it. And this is not Christmas decor, but I've always loved the look of having a set of keys in the front hall. It kind of reminds me of a vintage, like a, a memory of Santa with his keys in the front. Okay, two more things. Look what I scored. These cute little gingerbread cookies. There's um, some kind of resin, I guess. And I thought these were good. I'm going to be doing a gingerbread theme on my coffee bar this year. Not too much, just a few pieces, but I thought these would look so sweet just sitting on a shelf under a little, um, little glass cloche. And these ones were $7.99 each. Okay. Something that's not related to Christmas in my living room, I have these bookshelves. They're not, it used to be a wall unit. I took them apart. My son painted them just to make it look nice and we put some crystal knobs on them and crystal knobs are starting to fall off. I don't know. They're too delicate I think when you're pulling them back and forth. So I decided to buy these at Hobby Lobby and they're nice brass poles. Looks very high-end, expensive, whatever you want to call it. We're always trying to achieve that, that look. And these ones were $6.99 each and then half I got the sale of 50% off. That's why I got them. So I got eight of them just to, you know, just to give it a little bit of a, a better look, take it up a notch. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. So that's it for my 
Hobby Lobby. So I think I was naughty. What do you think? Okay, now we're off to Target. So the first thing that I grabbed a Target I saw last year and I couldn't get any. I saw it online. No, not online. I saw it in somebody's video last year and I got some and there are these cute little wreaths. I, I love this long stemmed uh, seeded eucalyptus and it's not easy to come by. I've been looking for some. Um, they seem to have some in the United States like on amazon.com but here in Canada, they do have, they do have one garland, quite expensive, but I can't see it. I need to see it because if this isn't the right color, it can look really cheap. But this one turned out really cute. Has a little red velvet bow. I might keep it, I might not. Usually what I do is I put a big ribbon in the middle of, of my little wreaths and I hang them up in the kitchen on um, I'm going to just do them like last year, the two cabinets beside the stove. This one was $10. It's got some cedar too. You know what? I saw this on Tiffany's channel, um, Charlotte Farmhouse, no, Charlotte Grove Farmhouse, and she showed them as well. Was I got this little container. It was $15. I want to put some brass and gold in the living room. And I couldn't find a candle that I liked, you know, that was in uh, a gold container. So, or that wasn't too expensive or the smell was not to my liking. So easy peasy, just buy a container and then put your candle, your bath and body, whatever you like and put it inside and nobody's going to know. So like I said, $15 target. They have a lot of uh, this kind of material. They have like serving dishes, trays. I have a tray by heart and hand. It's quite large. I had seen somebody uh, talk about them and they opened it up and it was quite large. So this is gonna be good hanging from one of my dowels. And this little towel, well, I think it was like $3.99. Yeah, $3 okay, so something else that I don't need, but I wanted, and it's also by heart and hand, it was, um, $8.99 and it was too, to me, they're, they're called pot holders, but I would use them more as trivets for the table. I mean, they're sort of hard, like you can bend them, of course, right? But for me, I'm going to use them to hang up as decor on my, on my little island, cream in the red and the plaid. Okay. So then I went and I saw this. These are little appetizer plates. Like I need more plates, but you know, when you're naughty, you can't help it. And I got these little red and white striped um, dessert plates, appetizer plates, and the set of four was $12 uh, by Hearth and Hand. It's, it's called Balsam and Berry and it smells lovely. Yeah, sometimes I can smell things, sometimes I can't, but I can smell this. And I love the little container and I'm pretty sure it's going in my kitchen. And this was $14.99. So last but not least, I had to go through a lot of driving to get this. And this is the hearth and hand candle holder. Now let's see what they call it. A tapered candelabra. Huh. And it's got 12 areas to put candles. And how gorgeous is this? brass. Somebody said on a review that's not good quality. Uh, yeah, I don't know what you're seeing, but to me, it's really good quality. And it was $39.99. Maybe a bit steep for some, but when you want it, you get it. So during the Christmas season, I'm going to be putting my dough bowl with my bells. But for Christmas dinner, I'm going to be placing, I'm going to take that off and put this and then maybe just, you know, put a swag of some greenery around them, maybe some jingle bells, and this is gonna look fabulous. So I think I was nice this time. I didn't buy too much at Target. Okay, so the next store, I'm gonna combine Home Goods, Home Goods and, and TJ Maxx together because I didn't buy much. I just bought a few things there. 
This came from Marshall's. <laughs> and it was $5.99. Like I said, I'm doing a gingerbread theme this year on my coffee bar. So I thought these would be so cute hanging from my my little uh, my little rack, my wall rack. And perfect coloring, right? Neutral, neutral. I I have similar stockings to this, but I needed another one for the front hall now that I put that little railing in the front. I thought it would be so sweet to put a stocking with some jingle bells, sort of like what I do in my bedroom. $14.99, yes. Okay, so the next thing I got, I grabbed it when I saw it. It was $12.99 for this gorgeous snowflake cutting board. You can use it for decor. You can use it for charcuterie board. I mean, it's very small. How sweet is that? And you know what? I think I saw one at Target and it was $20, but it wasn't as nice as this and it didn't come with this gorgeous knife. Look at this gorgeous knife. It's a snowflake. It's like a vintage um, pewter. This would make a great gift. If I had seen more of these, girls, these would have been gifts for Christmas. I went to Home Goods and I found this picture of Santa and he's wanted. I'd seen one like this in Walmart. I didn't get it. But I like this coloring. I like the wood frame and the black and white. So I think it's going to go on the shelves in my front hall. It's uh, $16.99. I think he's so cute. He is a jolly old soul. Must be fat and jolly. I hate the word fat. Available for overtime, and I don't do that either. In December, work well with children. I used to do daycare. <laughs> Manage toy makers. Keep good lists. Work overnight shift on December 24th. Well, I kind of do that. I guess we all do that. It's the cutest. It's the cutest. Look at this. It's on a, a wood. It looks like a it's like like a like a, a flat of some sort. And it says sleigh rides. Established Claws and Company, 1882. I love it. For $14.99, I think it might go beside the Santa on the shelf. Even though it's two pictures, I don't like a lot of signs anymore. But at Christmas, it changes. So I thought these would look cute beside each other even. I might be busy, but they're both neutral. And sorry, I keep on hitting my mic. And we'll see how it goes. I got one thing at TJ Maxx and I left it I left it for the end because it is beautiful and they're very difficult to find, but I snagged it. It's the popular. This is TJ Maxx, $16.99. Actually, I did see another one sitting there. I didn't take it, but um, it's a candle. So it's a ceramic candle, but it looks just like one of the cowbells. And it is. I smelled it. I smelled it when I bought it. And it's it's not Christmassy, but it's nice. It's called what the Amber Sunset. That's why I like it. I like things with amber. I like amber and sandalwood. So beautiful. This would make a gorgeous gift. But it's mine. I'm gonna steal your candy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -mm. So that's it for those stores. And I think, I think I was okay. I think I was nice because there's three different stores. But overall, overall, I spent far too much money this season. And I'm very naughty. Anyway, with all the jokes aside, I hope you enjoyed that video and it inspires you to go shopping and spend all your husband's money. So we'll see you in my next video. Take care and see you later. Bye, friends. Mm -hmm.